Hi everyone, Von Marie for Cat Scrappiness, and today I have a shaker card to make with you. We're going to be using a new stencil, the Love Doodle stencil, and we're going to use some pattern paper. We have the new Love Doodles black paper, and we have Love Doodles gold paper. So it's such a fun new valentine's release isn't the paper pretty i love that there's solids included and i was going to use this valentine's die but i didn't i decided to use these um, double stitched heart dies and i'm also using this big bow and it is from the um it was from the festive christmas arrangements dies and so I'm going to go ahead and use the heart and cut out a heart through this craft paper. And then I'm going to apply my stencil with some gold paste with my spatula. So it's really pretty. And I just wanted a little bit um, of this gold paste on my heart to use it for my shaker card. Um, I usually don't think of my process ahead of time, so at the moment I was um, just gathering a lot of materials and wondering how I could do a fun shaker card. So um, that's what I'm doing, and it took no time at all to um, apply my paste. And I'm just going to clean up and let it dry. And it's important to clean off your stencil right away when you have paste. So I'm um, going to be using that pattern paper there. It's so pretty, um, but I decided to use some vellum so I can mute it a little bit. And um, I just um, thought it would be fun to try vellum. Um, I never use vellum that often, so why not? And... I thought it looked really pretty with the paper. And so I'm going to apply some foam, foam tape all around the heart there. And I'm also going to apply some um, around my panel just so that it's even when I do glue it onto my panel, I mean onto my card base. And I will cut off the extra foam tape at the end because there will be some sticking out and cat scrappiness has a, a lot of new embellishments um, for the embellishments I will be using the Twitter padded sprinkle mix as well as the love notes sprinkle mix so really pretty um, um, I love doing shaker cards um usually when i love to do them with um like acetate and um, like infinity shaker cards but i decided to use foam tape this time um, i wanted a bigger wall here and and there's not much uh, it was it was a heart so it didn't take long to put foam tape <laughs> Um, sometimes it gets a little tedious, especially when you need to pull off all the, um, the backing, but I made it easy and didn't show all of, all of that hard work. <laughs> and almost finished here. And it ends up being a really easy card to make, so I really am happy the way it came out. So I'm just going to cut my um, extra foam tape off there and add my pattern paper on my card base. And glue my, so it's really pretty, the solids, like you get black with, with the black, Love Doodles black paper, you get some solid black in there. And then with the Love Doodles gold, you get some solid gold. So really pretty. So isn't it pretty the way it looks with the vellum? And 
and <laughs> getting it straight and when I do glue it on I do cut off a little more because it wasn't straight and I'm just using my poker tool and I'm just going to um, get the backing off of my tape here. And then I will pour my embellishments. Um, so really pretty. I love all the pinks and I love the clay embellishments from the love notes. And I'm just going to be using my spoon to put some of those in my heart area. And so really easy and then I'm also using my brush here um, because I didn't want any of my pieces sticking to the tape. So a lot of good tools to have for your shaker card are those two there and I will list everything in the details. You can also click on the um, product supply bar and it will take you directly to cat scrappiness. And I'm just picking, I love that I can just pick out what I want here. And I didn't want too much because I already have a lot going on um, with the other two elements I'm going to add right now, which will be, let me turn it over here. And I cut off some of my paper because it wasn't even. So I'm just, just going to cut off that white part of the pattern paper. And then we'll get started on the other elements that I wanted on here, which is, and well, let me glue this, glue this panel to my card base. So it's an A2 card base here. And My liquid glue is always giving me problems. <laughs> and okay, so now we can get started on our next two elements, which is a my um, stenciled heart, so which is right there. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use it or which way I wanted to use it, but I, I did want to use it because I did add paste to it and so I am using it for this card and so I love that you have a little bit of stenciled paste from the from the love doodle stencil and then you have some love doodles pattern paper there and some shaker bits and then I wanted to use a bow so I went ahead and cut out the love doodles gold paper and so I am just going to be layering my bow with my liquid glue and then I will add my center and then I will because my bow looked a little busy here and you'll see in a moment um, I did cut my bow a little bit and I love that you can do that I did do that before um, during the Christmas workshop and I do love this big bow so it's really pretty either way you put it So I thought just that a little bit of a bow there and that is pretty much it. Um, I didn't add another, I didn't add a sentiment because I felt like it had a lot going on already on the top of the card. So if I add a sentiment, I will probably add it to the, um, the inside of the card. And I'm just adding some embellishments here and... I did use some enamel dots and more love notes clay sprinkles and that finishes my card so I hope you like this shaker card I hope um, it inspired you to make a Valentine shaker card 
Um, you can always tag me. I'd love to see it. And there, there we go. Thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful day.